So good morning. So just um, if you're practicing from home and following on YouTube, um, today we're going to use a yoga block as a prop. Um, and if you don't have a yoga block, that's okay. You can use a really sturdy book, maybe a hardcover, something that um, a good Harry Potter number six is, is, is an ample size. So just know that if you, if you don't have a yoga block, something else that's about the size will do the trick. But for now, place it off to the side. We're just going <clears> to <throat> come to our chair, get nice and comfy, cozy, scoot your butt way back and let your back rest comfortably against the back of the chair. Let your hands find a nice place to land. If it feels good to do so, close your eyes down. But if it feels better to keep your eyes open, just soften your gaze, maybe just staring at a point on the floor. And allow just a moment or two here for your mind and your body to quiet down a little bit. And as you start to settle in and quiet down, just take a moment to notice, is there any way you could adjust in your chair that your body would be a little bit more comfortable, maybe even just 10%? And if there's anything you can adjust, take a moment to do so. And then come back to that softer posture, softer stance in your seat, soften your hands, soften your feet, let your back soften against the back of the chair. And just a little notice for anybody who's practicing at home <clears throat> in my own space that I'm working in today, there's somebody working on my heater unit. So you might hear some, some construction sounds in the background. And if you do just allow them to be part of your practice, no need to, no need to be concerned. It's just a good, good, good sound happening over here. So just so you know, if you hear any noises coming through my microphone. But that being said, take a moment here as you start to quiet down to just listen into the sounds around you, the sounds of the room that you're working in, maybe the sounds of your house or the sounds of the world right outside the room that you're working in. And then within all those sounds around you, can you start to bring your awareness back into yourself and notice the sounds of your breath? And right now, without a focused or concentrated breath, <clears throat> it might be very subtle and very quiet. So see if you can just tune in and notice the sounds of your breath or the lack of sound from your breath. And then notice as you start to just pay attention to the breath, you might have noticed that your breath naturally starts to slow down. So allow that to happen, drawing in a slower inhalation and an even slower exhalation if you can find that. And ideally here, we'd be breathing in through our nose and out through our nose, but that is not always the case. So if, you're breathing, if your breathing is congested, just allow your breath to come in in whatever way works best for you. From this place, we are gonna see if we can tune in and just find our ujjayi breath, which is our most common pranayama. 
So Ujjayi breath is a victorious breath or ocean sounding breath. And for some of us, you might think of it as that Darth Vader sounding breath, which is a great way to explain it because then it's an easy way to find that breath. But it's not as loud as a Darth Vader breath. So you don't need to be so loud that your neighbor across the street can hear you. So still in that comfortable seated position, breathe in through your nose, just a nice focused inhalation. And breathe out through your nose if you can. Inhale through your nose, and you're gonna start to see if you can find a lift through the soft palate in the back of your mouth, and then a little constriction in the back of your throat. So you make a little ocean sound as you breathe in. And then see if you can make that same ocean sound as you breathe out. Inhaling through the nose, finding a little constriction in the back of your throat. Exhale through your nose, constricting the back of your throat. Two more cycles of breath here, just seeing if you can find that ocean sound or that Darth Vader sound, breathing in through the nose. And out through your nose. One more cycle of breath. And then on your next inhalation, just bring your hands to your heart, stacking one hand right on top of the other. <clears throat> and then just pause here for a moment, allow your breath to return to a natural rhythm. And then take a moment here to set an intention to honor your mind and your body throughout your practice. Never doing anything in your practice that would cause your body pain and treating yourself with love, care, and respect. On your next inhale, start to lift your back away from your seat, keeping your hands on your heart if you can. And then just in that more upright position, we're just gonna tune in and notice the belly and the ribs. So as you inhale, let the belly come forward just a little bit and a little flaring of the ribs. And then as you exhale, think about pulling the belly button in and pulling the ribs in towards each other keeping the hands on the heart if you can. Inhale, a little tiny lift of your chest so the ribs flare a little bit and the belly expands. And then exhale, pull the abdominal muscles in, pull the ribs in towards each other. One more time, just like that. Inhale, a tiny little lift, a flare of the ribs and opening through the belly. And then exhale, pull the abdominal ribs, pull the ribs in towards each other. Nice. And then see if you can keep and maintain that sens sensation of the ribs pulling in towards each other. So you have this nice, strong structure with your torso. Hands are going to stay stacked on the heart. And as you inhale, gently lift your chin up towards the sky. Exhale, tuck your chin down to your chest. And then just take a second, check in. Can you keep those ribs pulled in towards each other? Inhale, lift your chin up towards the sky. Exhale and tuck your chin down to your chest. One more time here, inhale and lift your chin up. Exhale to tuck your chin down. Beautiful, and then bring your head to a neutral position. We're gonna release our hands and we're just gonna to start to twinkle the fingers. So wriggle your fingers, just nice little rolling of the fingers in and out. <clears throat> and then just notice if one hand feels a little different than the other, if your fingers are cranky, if your hands are warm or cold, and there's no right or wrong, we just wanna take a moment to notice. One more little wriggle of the fingers, and then we're just gonna give our hands a nice little gentle shake, bring a little blood flow and a little energy down to the ends of our limbs. Nice, take one more good little shake, and then let your hands just rest comfortably on your legs, and we're gonna pick up the right leg and give it a good solid shake. And then set that foot down, pick up the other leg, and give your foot a good solid shake. Nice, and then we're gonna come back to the right leg, but scoot your butt forward in your seat so you have plenty of space to move your legs. And then we're just gonna pick up the right leg and just give a little kick to the foot. So nothing, nothing fancy here, just tuning in, noticing the knee joint, noticing how your knee's feeling and maybe even notice how your quadricep muscles are feeling. Cool, and then set that foot down. We're gonna take it to the other side, pick up your foot, and then just a little kick of the foot forward and back. And then just see here, notice how your knee's feeling, how your quadriceps feeling, and notice one side might felt different than the other. So if that's the case, you'll just wanna make sure that you treat whatever is feeling mischievous with a little bit of kindness. <laughs> All, right. All right, set that foot down. We're gonna just give a little 
little swish in the knees side to side, little windshield wiper action. And if, you're, if your chair is slippy, let your butt kind of slide around in your chair, find as much of a big movement as you can or as feels good in your body. Beautiful, take one more little swish side to side. And then we're gonna let the knees come to stillness, but step, step your feet. So they're into a nice wide position. And then we're just gonna lean the heart forward a little bit, keeping a nice long spine and then push into your knees, come back to a tall position. Lean your heart forward just a little bit. Maybe notice how your low back is feeling. Notice that little hip hinge and then push into your knees to come back up. Beautiful. One more time, lean your heart forward just a little bit. Notice your low back. Push into your knees to come up. And now we're gonna take it forward into a little fold. So you're just gonna lean your heart forward and let your hands just kind of glide down your shins into a heavy position. So let your chest and your torso rest against the thighs. Let your arms hang nice and heavy here for a moment. Take a nice big breath in. Nice, slow breath out. Cool, and then can you keep your arms super heavy? Pull your belly button towards your spine, strong from your navel center. So we're gonna feel our lift coming from the back of the body. So pull your ribs back, arms are super heavy. Drag your arms as you lift your way back up to an upright position. And then keeping your legs in that wide configuration, we're gonna take some light twists. So we're gonna just start to twist side to side. So maybe you're touching the outside of the knee and the back side of your chair. <clears throat> nice. And now the next time your right hand finds your left knee, stay there, leverage against that knee just a little bit. So maybe it draws you a little deeper into your twist if that feels good. One more breath. Beautiful. And then when you're ready, release and take your twist over to the other side, catching your knee, catching the back of the chair. And then maybe you use your knee to leverage against it. So you go deeper into your twist. Beautiful, take one more breath. And then when you're ready, release, bring it back to center. And we're gonna walk the feet in just a little bit closer so feet are about hip width distance apart. And we wanna find our feet planted on the ground. So we're gonna actually find that sensation. So push your feet into the floor, feel your quads activate just a little bit and then relax. Push your feet into the floor and then relax. And do that one more time, push your feet into the floor and then relax, nice. And now bring your hands at your sides and we're gonna find the sides of the chair, which for you, just depending on your chair might also mean your legs or the arms of your chair, whatever you're working in. So we're gonna push our hands into the sides of the chair. So you're gonna feel maybe an activation of the chest, the armpit chest and the shoulders. So push your hands into the chair and then release. Push your hands into the chair and release. Push your hands into the chair and release. Nice, and now see if you can scoot your butt way forward. So we're gonna see if we can find our hands to touch the back side of the chair. So right past where our butt is. So first we're gonna start there just by finding that placement. If you need to look, allow your head to turn with you. Take one more time each side just like that. And then the next time your left hand touches onto the chair, we're gonna push into that palm. So allow your shoulder and your arm and you're gonna let your butt lift gently off the chair and then reset it right back down, rotate to the other side. Right hand's gonna find the chair, push into that hand. So your butt lifts off the chair, finding strength in the arm and the shoulder, beautiful. Set your butt down, take it to the other side. Left hand onto the chair, push into the arm, lift your butt up just a little bit, set your butt back down. Nice, take it to the other side. Right hand down, push into the chair, lift your butt up. Beautiful, set your butt down, nice. And we're gonna take that one more time each side. <clears throat> push into the chair, lift your butt up and set it down. Take it to the other side, push your hand into the chair, lift your butt up and set your butt down. Beautiful. And then let both hands come down at your sides and just for a moment, notice. Notice your shoulders, notice your hands. Take a nice deep breath in. Nice, slow breath out. When you're ready, open your eyes, inhale, arms up and overhead, look to the sky. As you exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Let your hands come down at your sides. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale, hands to heart center, hands down at your sides. One more, just like that. Inhale, arms up and look up. 
Exhale, hands to heart center, hands down at your sides. And now we're gonna move into a little breath and we're gonna let the arms and the shoulders help us. So keep your arms about 45 degrees away from the body. As you inhale, you're gonna lift the chest, flip the palms, gaze up towards the ceiling. So you get an opening through the chest and the front of the body. And then as you exhale, palms are gonna flip the other way. You're gonna tuck your chin slightly into your chest and round through your back. Beautiful. Inhale, flip the palms, lift your chest, lift your chin, open through the heart. Exhale and flip the palms the other way round to the back. Beautiful. Inhale to flip the palms, lift your chest, lift your chin. Exhale to round. Inhale to come back up and find a more neutral position. And then we're going to start to reach like you're reaching for something across the room. And as you reach, you're going to grab. So we're going to use our little our handhold to clasp the fingers like you're picking something up from across the room. And what we're shooting for here is to wake up the fingers and then wake up the obliques in the side body. So we're using those side body muscles. As you start to do this work here, also notice, are you pushing into your feet to help support? And that's good if you are, we wanna find those support systems. Where do we help ourselves when we need to reach for things or grab for things? So notice if your feet are also helping assist with this movement. <clears throat> nice, take one more time each side. And then let your hands just come back to resting on the thighs, close your eyes down and just for a moment notice. Notice your arms, notice your shoulders, notice your hands. Cool, and then giving our hands a little rest, we're gonna bring it down to the feet. So give your toes a little twinkle, just wiggle them around in any little organic way that feels good. <clears throat> and then we're gonna start to tap our feet. So we're gonna start by just tapping our toes into the ground. And then tap into the balls of the feet. So maybe you lift your toes. And then tap the blade edges of your feet. So you get a little external rotation with your legs and then bring it up to the heels and tap into your heels. And then notice as you started to readjust, you may have had to readjust your body as well to find that movement. Nice, and now we're just gonna tap it all over the place. So you just find a nice big <laughs> Broadway sensation down at your feet, just tap it all over the place just to stimulate the bottoms of the feet. And then once you feel like you've got those feet nice and good and stimulated, let them come to stillness, close your eyes down, take a nice deep breath in. Nice, slow breath out. Beautiful. And then let your hands come back down at your sides. Find your mountain pose in your chair, pressing into your feet. Legs are gently active, lifting up through the crown of your head. Inhale, raise your arms up and look up. Exhale and fold. Inhale to a half forward fold. Hands glide to the shins. Exhale to soften down, pull the abdominal muscles in, pull the ribs back strong from your navel center, let your back pull you up, roll your shoulders up to your ears, roll them down and back. Beautiful. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale and fold. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, pull the abdominal muscles in, roll up, roll your shoulders up to your ears, around down and back. One more time, just like that. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale and fold. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, pull the abdominal muscles in, roll all the way up. Roll your shoulders up to your ears, around, down, and back. Nice. And then we're going to reach over and just grab hold of the left leg. We're going to pick the leg up, <clears throat> draw it in some circles, go in one direction. And then draw some circles, go the other way. And mostly here, the arm is doing the heavy lifting. We want to find a little soft looseness in the joint of the hip. Beautiful, when you're ready, set that foot down and we're gonna take it to the other side. Pick your leg up. So we make a little basket weave, grab the back of the thigh, pick it up, let your hands do the heavy lifting, draw that knee in circles, go in one direction. Awesome, draw your knee in circles, go the other way. Beautiful, and then when you're ready, set that foot down back to your mountain pose. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale and fold. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down. Right hand's gonna find the left shin. Left hand's gonna reach up for a little twist. Release that hand down. We're gonna slide up the shin, pull the knee up to the chest, bring your nose to your knee. And then release back to your mountain pose. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale and fold. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, left hand over to the right shin, right hand reaches up to the sky. 
Beautiful, release that hand down. We slide up the shin, bring the knee to the chest, bring your nose to your knee and release back to your mountain pose. We're gonna go through that one more time. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale and fold. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, right hand to the left shin, left hand reaches for a twist. Release that left hand down. We're gonna slide up the shin, pull the knee up towards the chest, bring your nose to your knee and release back to your mountain pose. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale and fold. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down. Left hand over to the right shin, right hand reaches to the sky. Release that hand down. We slide up the shin, bring your knee to your chest, bring your nose to your knee. And then release back to your mountain pose. Nice. And then from here, we're gonna find our yoga block <clears throat> or your Harry Potter whatever you've got that will work. And then we're gonna just place that block in the skinniest setting and place it right between your knees. So now we're gonna find a little pushing in sensation. Step your feet in nice and close, squeeze against that block. And then as you squeeze, imagine you're trying to crush that block in and then notice, notice the muscles in the sides of the thighs, maybe notice your inner thighs. And you might even notice a little work happening up in the hip flexors. And now we're gonna pick up the left foot. So just a little flex of the foot. So the foot comes off the floor and then we're gonna externally rotate. So we're gonna keep that pushing going in and then we're gonna try to pull the foot out to the side just a little bit and then bring it back in. Keep that squeeze going on between the knees. Lift the heel out to the side, hold it for a second if you can and then bring it back down, beautiful. Swing it out to the side, keep pushing the knees in towards each other and release, nice. Two more just like that, swing it out to the side, hold it for a second if you can, bring it back in. Last one here, swing it out to the side and bring it back in, nice. Set your heels down, give a second, whew, relax everything for a second and then see if you can find that again. That pushing in sensation against the block and now we're gonna take it to the other side. So can you pick your left foot up off the ground, right foot off of the ground and then swing the heel out and then bring it back in. Keep pushing into the block, swing the heel out, hold it for a second if you can and bring it back in, beautiful, swing it out and in, two more to go here. Swing it out, hold it for a second if you can. And in, nice. One more time, swing it out, hold it for a second if you can. Beautiful, bring it in, Whew. set that foot down, grab your block for a second, just give your knees a little swish and give your ankles a little wiggle, make sure everything feels okay. <clears throat> awesome. All right, and now we're gonna bring that block back in. So we're still sticking with that skinny setting. So if you're working with your book, you're just gonna keep it cover to cover. And once you've got that sensation here, you're just gonna kind of scoot your butt way forward so you find the edge of your chair. And first we're gonna bring our hands to the chair just so that we find the activation, but we're staying safe in our body. So hands are gonna find your chair just to offer a little bit of support. Push into the block with your knees and your inner thighs. Keep that pushing into the block, lean your chest forward, press into your feet like you're gonna come up and out of the chair. So we just wanna find those get up and out of the chair muscles without getting up and out of the chair. And once you found them, hold it for a second, maybe even squeeze and activate those muscles and then sit your butt back down, hold onto your block just for a second, soften up your knees, relax anything that you need to, and then bring it back in. Squeeze into that block, activate those muscles, hands find the back of the chair. Lean your chest forward, push into your feet. Let your knees come slightly past your toes. Push into your feet, find those get up out of the chair muscles, keep squeezing on that block. And then really sit your butt back down, hold on to that block just for a second to relax anything that you need to. We're gonna do that one more time. Bring the block or the book in between your thighs, push into it. And especially if you're working with a book at home and that's a slippy cover, you're gonna really have to squeeze into that block or that book. So hold on to it, squeeze, hands to the chair, lean forward, press into your feet, get those up and out of the chair muscles activated, hold that activation. Beautiful, and then release, Whew. set your butt down, grab your block, shake it out. We're gonna place our block down on the ground at the medium height. We're gonna place it to the inside of the right ankle. And then we're gonna pick the left leg up and place the blade edge of the left foot onto the block. So we get an external rotation with the knee. And then once you've found your way there, you're just gonna lean your heart forward a little bit and then bring yourself back up nice and slow. Lean your heart forward just a little bit and bring yourself back up nice and slow. Beautiful, one more time, just like that. Lean your heart forward just a little bit. 
bring it back up nice and slow. We're gonna help assist, pick that leg up, set it down onto the ground, move your block over to the other side. And then we're gonna take that other foot, blade edge on the block, open up the knee, lean your heart forward just a little bit, and then bring it back up. Beautiful, lean your heart forward just a little bit and bring it back up. Lovely, lean your heart forward just a little bit and bring it back up. Help assist, take that leg up and off. And now we're gonna grab our block and then make sure there's plenty of room for you to move. So there's plenty of space and we're gonna pass the block or the book underneath the thighs and then bring it right across the chest. Underneath the thighs and right across the chest. One more time in this direction and then go the other way. And this time, if you can, close your eyes down. So if you like playing around with your proprioception, where are you connected to the tool that you're working with and your body? Nice, and then bring it right across your chest, long ends placed into the palms. And then we're gonna push into the block, like you're trying to crush the block with your hands, really push into it, feel those armpit chest muscles activate, push, 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 and then whew, soften just a little bit and give your shoulders a little shimmy shake. And we're gonna do that again. Push into the ends of the block, like you're trying to Hulk smash that block, really crush it with your hands, find those muscles and then soften and release. Give your shoulders a little shimmy shake one more time. Push into the block, find those muscles, crush that block energetically. <laughs> and then when you're ready, whoo, really soften and wriggle out your shoulders, set that block down to the ground. And then on a tall setting, if you can, you're gonna plant your palm onto that block. Other arm is gonna reach up and take a big giant side bend, really reaching through the side of the body. And then try to make sure that both of your, both of your butt cheeks are nice and evenly rooted on your chair. So if that side that's leaning out is lifting off, push that bum into the chair as you extend through your arm. Take one more big breath. Nice, and then top hand is gonna lift you back up. And if you can, grab that block, take it with you, place it down on the floor, tall side up. <clears throat> We're gonna plant our palm. If you need to readjust, take a second to readjust, but then plant that palm onto the block. Other arm comes up for a nice big side bend. And then notice if your butt starts to lift up off the chair, push your butt down into the chair as you reach through the fingertips. Beautiful, take one more breath. And then when you're ready, top hand is gonna help lift you up. We're gonna grab that block just for our little sense of evenness and then set that block down wherever feels appropriate. Scoot your butt way back in your chair and then take a second to just kind of find your butt connected to the back of the chair. Once you've found your way here, hands rest comfortably, eyes closed down, but still in a tall position so the back is lifted away from the chair. With your eyes closed, if you can, inhale, lift your shoulders up to your ears and give a little squeeze. So we're gonna scrunch up the muscles in the side of the neck, maybe even scrunch up your face a little bit. And then as you exhale, just let them melt down. Inhale, pull the shoulders up to your ears and let them scrunch up, scrunch up the muscles, scrunch up your face, really tighten everything up. And then on your exhale, let it soften and do that again. Inhale, shoulders lift, scrunch up your face, scrunch up your shoulders. And then as you exhale, let it soften and keeping your shoulders soft and down, start to turn your head gently side to side like you're saying no. So it can be small or it can be big. It does not have to be extreme. And you can keep your eyes closed if that feels comfortable. And as you're here, especially with your eyes closed, can you start to tune in and come back to your listening sensation? Noticing if there's any sounds connected to this movement. There's no right or wrong. We just want to tune in and notice. Take one more little turn of the head side to side, finding that no. And then as you bring your head back to center, roll to a neutral position, eyes closed, jaw soft. And then we're going to come to a nice little yes. So we're going to gently nod the head up and down. And again, it doesn't need to be extreme. But what we want to shoot for here is to listen. So as you gently lift your head up and down, just use your listening sensation to notice if there's any sounds connected to this movement. Take one more gentle nod of your head up and down. 
And then let your head find a neutral position, keeping your eyes closed or gaze soft. We're just gonna draw little tiny one inch circles in the air with the nose. Super small, super gentle, super mindful. So we wanna just allow that to be a soft movement not extreme, we're not yanking the head around, we're not going full, full range of motion or anything like that. We're just drawing tiny little one inch circles in the air with the nose. And take some time here to allow some softness to come into your jaw, into your cheekbones, into your eyes. And then when you feel ready, take those circles, go in the other direction. Super small, super gentle, nice and soft. Beautiful, take one more circle around and then let your head come to stillness. And from this position, we're gonna take ourselves into a soft folded position. So you might choose to walk your legs in just a little bit closer so there's a little bit of support, but your butt is way back in the chair. So you're just gonna start by leaning your heart forward, let your hands kind of follow the movement, fold yourself over, and then hands are gonna hang as heavy as they can. Let your belly and chest be supported by your legs. Soften through the back of your neck. Notice that little bit of compression against the belly and the chest. So notice if you can feel your breath in the back of your body. Take two more cycles of breath here. And then when you're ready, let your hands help guide you up. Walk yourself slowly back up. Take your time, keeping your eyes closed if you can, and then just allow your back to lean against the back of the chair. Let your hands find a comfortable place to land. Let your feet find a soft placement. And then allow a little time here to just let your body come into a stillness. Soft and heavy in your feet soft and heavy in your legs. Notice if you're holding tension in your butt or your hips, can you let that go? Can you let your belly be soft and loose? Shoulders soft and heavy, arms soft and heavy. Start to bring your awareness back into your body. If your palms are facing down against your thighs, think about flipping them over so palms are open facing the ceilings and let the backs of your hands rest against your thighs again. And then once you've found that position with the hands, if it feels good, you're just gonna twinkle your fingers, just wriggle them around just a little bit, reawakening the fingers, bringing some movement back into the palms. And all of this, keeping your eyes closed, if you can. We're gonna keep the right hand just wriggling around and we're gonna pick up the left hand. So as you wriggle your right hand, you're gonna give your left hand a good shake. So one hand is staying on the thigh, wriggling the fingers, and the other hand is up in the air, giving a little shake. And then we're gonna switch. We're gonna bring that left hand back down, 
palm facing up, resting against the back of your thigh. And then we're gonna wriggle the fingers and then you're gonna pick up your right hand and give your right hand a good shake. So most of this is happening just without your vision if you can. Wriggling the fingers that's touching the thigh, shaking out the hand that's in the open space. Give one more good little shake and one more good little wiggle and then let it all come back down and we're just gonna keep the palms facing upward if you can, both backs, the hands resting against the thighs. Lift your back away from your chair so you come into a taller position and then just take a moment here to notice. Notice your hands, notice your palms. Take a nice big breath in. Nice slow breath out. Hands free if you can. We're just gonna scooch the butt forward in the chair. So you move your hip muscles and then find the center of your chair. So your butt is firmly planted on the ground or firmly planted in your seat, feet nice and evenly planted on the ground. And then with that position, hands are still facing upwards. Give your fingers one last little wiggle here. Take a nice big inhale, slow exhale. And then on your next inhale, you're gonna gather your hands to your heart center, stacking one hand on top of the other. Planting your hands on your heart, maybe bow your head to your heart. Breathing in love and gratitude for yourself, for your mind, for your body, and for all of your hard work. And breathe in a little extra love and gratitude that you can carry with you through the rest of your day and share with everyone you see. And when you're ready, gently lift up through the top of your head, gently open your eyes. I bow to you. Happy Wednesday.